Traversing terrain efficiently is an easy way to increase your chances of survival in Project Winter. I'm Project Winter Guides, and in this video we're going to cover the different run speeds within the game. Let's start with our control measurement. In this clip, I run the width of the screen and time how long it takes. I had one result that took me 4.81 seconds, the other three tests were within 0.01 seconds of a 4.76 total runtime. I'm going to use 4.75 seconds as the final control measurement to simplify the percentage differences throughout the video. Now, let's compare running with an item held. We are 5% slower while holding an item, taking 5 seconds total to cross the screen. An item's hypothetical weight does not make a difference, so holding a berry will slow you down as much as holding a stone will. We are 15% slower while aiming a throwable item. Your character's animation may look like you're slower while running backwards, but the run times are identical no matter which direction you're facing. One of the two slowest running methods in the game is while aiming the variety of projectile weapons available in Project Winter, decreasing our move speed by 60%. This includes the bolt action, shotgun, semi-automatic, tranquilizer, and crossbow varieties. Getting hit by the variety of guns does not make a difference to your character's run speed, with each of the shotgun, bolt action, and semi-automatic clips shown on screen falling within 0.03 seconds of our control test. The second slowest running method is after getting hit by the tranquilizer gun. This is tied with aiming a projectile weapon, slowing us down by 60%. Running while poisoned will slow you down by 30%, however you will momentarily stop to be sick, which will increase your overall travel time. While carrying a battery, your move speed is decreased by 32.5%. Having an item equipped while holding a battery makes you slightly slower, with the total move speed decrease of 35%. Consuming an item while running will slow you down depending on the consumable. The quickest item to consume is the Trader Speed Supplement, adding 0.15 seconds to our overall runtime. Consuming food will add 0.25 seconds to your total runtime. I tested this with a cooked berry, cooked meat, and a pot pie. White herbs also fall into the speed bracket, adding 0.25 seconds to the total runtime. The second slowest consumable is the Trader Energy Drink, adding 0.6 seconds to our runtime. This leaves the medkit as the slowest consumable, significantly slowing down your character and adding 1.2 seconds to our total runtime. In my testing, the Trader Speed supplement increased move speed by 12%. Consuming multiple supplements at the same time didn't stack to increase my overall run speed. From the original patch notes, this increases move speed by 15% for 30 seconds before decreasing by 20% for 15 seconds. In this clip, I drink a Trader supplement, wait out the 30 second speed increase and run across the screen. My testing came in with a move speed decrease of 22.5%. Due to camera depth and subtle terrain differences, the running path directly in front of my character is faster than our control, taking 4.5 seconds. I use this time to calculate these next clips. Getting hit by a fully charged throwable item staggers your character, and adds 0.4 seconds to your runtime. This is the same amount for thrown weapons and generic items. A surprising result for me was the quick melee hit making no impact to our character's run speed. The fully charged melee hit slowed down our character by 0.5 seconds. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the new format and found the information in this video helpful. As always, any feedback or suggestions for future videos is greatly appreciated. For now, keep warm and good luck.